Well, some cars simply do not need any introduction and the Mini standing here beside me is one such legend in the car business across the world. Now, Mini have launched this new 5-door version for the first time in India as a hatchback. So, is the 5-door practicality going to swing your check in its favour or is it still a bit of a compromise for practical purposes? We'll find out on the show today. The new Mini Cooper gets five doors for the first time in its history. The company has given 160mm of extra length to the car to accommodate those rare doors. The Mini is a design icon and it's easy to see why. Those round circular headlamps up front now get LEDs running in them along with that big and prominent chrome grille. That along with those prominent wheel arches and short and stubby rear give this car a very purposeful bulldog-like stance. This is one of the few cars out there in the market which will appeal to small 8-year-olds as well as 80-year-olds. In short, this is a car which will really get your attention on the road. Well, because it is 160 millimeters longer than the usual 3-door version, it's supposed to have more space inside and we'll check that out by starting with the boot first. Well, in terms of uh, luggage capacity, the Mini 5-door can take in 278 litres, which is roughly about 67 litres more than the 3-door version. And as you can see, it's a pretty spacious boot. It's well-shaped as well. It's very square in uh, its shape and uh, there's no loading lip. And even the sill is uh, relatively low, which means that if you have a heavy object to put into it, it should not really be too much of an issue. Well, because the Mini 5-door does not come with a spare wheel, what that means is you also have an extra compartment which uh, you can of course uh, put in luggage into. All you have to do is lift up this tray. What that means is that you have a lot more space inside the boot once you lift up that little shelf. So while the boot may not be as large as some of its rivals, it's still very usable and makes the car very practical as well. Well, so here I am now inside the cabin of the Mini 5-door. And the first word which uh, comes to your mind is exquisite. This cabin really is a work of art and uh, very few cars have a cabin which makes you go wow and feel special in them. This car really is all about design elements and uh, circular themes. Well, the big highlight of the cabin, of course, is this big uh, infotainment unit over here. And this car really does look very classy, very sporty and very special, as I just mentioned. Well, special design elements, of course, include the aircraft type uh, toggle switches which really add to that uh, feeling of uh, nostalgia as well as uh, the iconic uh, status of the Mini. Well, being a car aimed at the driver, Mini have done a great job in uh, taking care of the seats as well. The front seats have got very good bolstering and the side support is excellent which means when you are pushing this car into that corner, this seat will hold you in your position really well. Well, what also adds to that visual sense of drama once you are inside this car is the fact that the color around this uh, circular dial changes uh, every time you switch uh, the modes. Well, the company's obsession with that circular theme with the Mini is so strong that even the keyring comes in that circular theme. Well, so here I am now in the back seat of the Mini and uh, the circular theme continues even in the back. As you can see, all the door handles, the stereo system as well as uh, the tweeters are all uh, circular in their uh, design. Of the additional 160mm that this car gets because of these two extra doors, 70 have gone into the wheelbase. And what that means is that passengers at the rear get more place to stretch their feet at. And uh, as you can see, knee room for me is uh, pretty good. Headroom is adequate as well. The seats themselves are pretty comfortable and uh, even on long journeys, you should not be feeling uh, too tired over here. But that said, there's a bit of a downside as well. The big transmission tunnel over here is probably one of the biggest that you'll ever see on any car. And what that means is whoever's gonna sit here in the middle will really have to fight with the co-occupants for sheer leg room. Well, so here I am now driving the uh, Mini Cooper D. Now, this car, of course, comes with a 1.5-litre diesel engine, and that engine develops about 114 bhp of power and about 270 uh, nm of torque. Well, in terms of uh, power output, that's uh, pretty decent. It's not really over the top, or it's not very underpowered. It's uh, pretty decent in terms of uh, the overall output. But the best part is that uh, this car comes with a six-speed automatic gearbox, and uh, the gearbox is very effortless and also very quick to shift gears so even if you are shifting gears up or down there's very little uh, lag in the shift pattern and that makes it uh, one of the better cars in this segment for keen drivers well if you are someone who wants to uh, drive in a relaxed manner then of course you can choose uh, 
this uh, button away and push it all the way to green. What that does is that it rewards uh, relaxed driving and uh, gives you better fuel efficiency. Well, you can also choose the mid mode, which uh, means that uh, there's a fine balance between uh, sporty and agile handling as well as relatively uh, comfortable ride. And if you really are someone who's a very keen driver and really wants to thrash your car all the time, then choosing the sport mode is uh, what you really want to do. And in this mode, the suspension really does tighten up and uh, you will feel like you are driving a proper go-kart. Well, the downside of uh, driving in that sport mode, of course, is the fact that uh, all the bad surfaces, all the patchwork roads can really be felt into the cabin. And that's largely because uh, the suspension travel is very minimal when you are driving it in that sport mode. Well, this uh, 1.5 litre diesel is pretty refined as well. Even when you are pushing it uh, hard on that highway trip and are doing speeds in excess of 100 kph, it remains relatively uh, quiet and the cabin remains a calm place to be. Well, the highlight of this driving package, of course, is this steering wheel. It's really crisp, it's really juicy, and it really does offer you a lot of feedback. Well, so that communicative steering along with that dynamic chassis really mean that if you are someone who enjoys throwing his cars into corners, then this is the one which will really make you smile. Well, no other luxury hatchback in the market puts a smile on your face the way the Mini does. Every time you take it out for a spin, or even if it's just parked, in your driveway. So if you are in the luxury market but want something which really looks funky on the outside but is practical to use on a day-to-day -day basis and also puts a smile on your face, then the Mini 5-door is the car for you.